Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Go Go Nippon and, very, and now we are on the map screen to pick our next destination Last episode we did the, we, we were at Ikebukuro I am not going to Rapongi because I have done that previously on according to this the second run through uh, but I haven't done Rukugien yet this is a Japanese garden with over 300 years worth of history it's famous for its other layers and weeping cherry tree what's an other layer? let's find out I think I'd like to go here Rukuki Inn? That's a pretty serious place. Well, as long as I'm here in Japan, I want to see as much as, I want to see as much really Japanese stuff as possible. Good point. There are many gardens in Tokyo, and I get a lot of foreign visitors like you, he's me you. It's just, it's just an ordinary park though. You don't sound very interested, Akira. Well, walking around gardens is boring. They're all the same no matter where you go. There's lakes and hills and you walk around drinking tea. I thought in Japanese culture you don't walk or eat while moving. Well, at least while walking. That's a pretty blunt way of putting it. It sounds like Aki-chan is not very interested. Why don't I show you around then? The game froze. Where was that here? Sure, you can you can you handle it, Oni Chan. I will. Okay, he's me you. I will show you around the Rikugian. Okay, thanks, Makoto. How do we get to the Riku Rikugian? It appears the closest station is Kamagomi, so we can take the Yama Yamanati line from Ikibukuro, head towards Ueno, and go four stations down. So we can we get past Ikebukuro again. Is that close to Ikebukuro? It's mainly to have a park so that close to a place like that. There are lots of places like that in Tokyo. There's Shinjuku Gyorien in Shinjuku. Done that. And the Imperial Palace in the centre of Tokyo. The large gardens that that that. Bayumo used to keep around the cast castles were left behind and became Japanese parks. Oh, I see. They were made by big shots in the Edo period. That explains why they're in the middle of Tokyo. That's right. They're known as Daimo Terian. They include the Hamamukyu Gardens, the Kiyosumi Gardens, the Koshikawa Kurokuen Gardens, and the Riku Gien we're going to now. I see. A garden that is a that a Daimo poured his money into. I'm curious to see what kind of place it is. All aboard the floating train. We walked about seven minutes down the big avenue from Kamagumi Station and it came into sight. We're here, this is the big cookie and Here you go, maps. And here we are. The outside of it. Several multiple story buildings, a 
and then I got him. Including by the sign, this is the entrance, this is the exit. Like way in, way out. 300 yen, 150 yen is for. One something, I'm not sure what that character is. That's itch, which, which is one. Back to the game. Back to the game. Wow, what an amazing gate. But it's not wood, it's brick. They have bricks during the Edo period? No, this fence was made during the Meiji period. It's been rebuilt since then, so this isn't a contemporary work. I want to start the Meiji period. It was Saki Yatoro of the Mitsubishi Daibatsu bought this garden. The fence was built, was built then. Huh? It's all belonged to one guy? The mansion of the Yanagisawa family, returning to the Tokugawa, was bought by an industrialist in the Meiji period. Then it was donated to the city of Tokyo in 1938. It's been open to the general public, public ever since. Oh, I see. It was originally a Daimo's house, after all. I wonder what it would feel like to live in a place like this. Can't even imagine it. My bet, lonely. Well, shall we go in? Yeah. Honey, only two pound. Oh, okay. Oh, nice view. Oh, I can find that way. There we go. Ah. This is where the house would have been? Is, maybe? There's a baseball field. Fankatsu. So this is a park here, but uh, as an overview. And looks like that's the only entrance, the one that we just seen. Do I hide this or? That's how. Ah, yeah, how. I do like that view. It looks like this is. Oh, I must say, this looks like this is taking down autumn, but. December. I guess it was a, I guess it was a, it was a warm December. Wow, it's like a totally different world in here. We're really in the middle of a city. I said the entry fee is 300 yen. Hey, that's pretty cheap. Nice for a poor tourist like me. It doesn't cost much to go in and can kill a lot of time here. There might be a nice sightseeing spot. And you can learn about Japanese culture too. There are maps over there. Let's take one. Wow, this place is huge. Coming here was a good choice. One of the little wooden trails inside the go in garden park. Garden. It's so quiet, huh? Hard to believe the big street with cars written down it is so close by. It's a great place to escape the hustle and bustle of city without actually leaving. There's nobody around. 
It's just me and Makoto. It's a nice atmosphere. But... Hmm? What's wrong? Huh? Oh, nothing. Anyway, would you tell me more about the Rikugien? Of course. The Rikugien is a Daima Taian built on orders of the... Uh, of Yanagisawa Yoshi Yoshiyasu, the man I mentioned before, as part of his official residence. It was originally a piece of flat land, but it spent seven years piling up earth to make it up hills and to dig out lakes. So it's all my maid. Wow. It took seven years? Incredible. Again, 1700s. Would have been a bit, bit more difficult to move land and. Yeah, to move land. They probably made hills out of the land they took out to make the lakes. Out of those hills and lakes, they they walk a circuit around, as known are known as Kayushiki Fukuyama Sensory Taian. At at the time the Rikugien was constructed, it was the second largest in Edo after the Hoshikawa Kurakuen Garden. Wow, it's an amazing place, huh? Shogun at the time, Takagawa Sinan Yoshi visited it 58 times. And that's just what's on record. That's how highly prized this garden was. Of course, I suppose it might always be an indication of how close Sinan Yoshi and Yanagisawa Yoshi Yashu that's who we were. We're lucky that many survived the many fires in Edo, the Great Tokyo Earthquake, and the bombings of the war, from the war. In 1953, it was designated a national scenic site of great beauty. The garden has a lot of history, and even the Shogun liked it. I can't wait to see it. Well then, why don't we head to the garden's great selling point? Oh, this tree is huge. It's kind of shaped for me. What kind of tree is it? If it's a cherry tree, why the green? I see a photo of it on Google Images, Google Maps. It doesn't look as good as the one in the game. Issues of it being in December. Either way, the way the branches weave, this one comes back. Oh, it's probably that tree. This is the Reaping Cherry Tree. A cherry tree? You can get cherry trees like this? Well, I guess it might look different when it's in bloom. I think I'm thinking of it by, by thinking as weird as green. I was thinking of the cherry blossom. It's a gem, it's a gem white or pink. There's a cherry blossom on my street, and I passed several on my way to work and back. The kind of cherry tree you're familiar with is the Prunus yedurenus, right? The reaping cherry tree is a different species of tree, cherry tree. That species of cherry tree? It's almost I never knew. Yes, there's quite a few types. The double blossom, the karazu, the winter sakura, there are just too many to count. Wow, there are that many? I had no idea. Why would you? The prune the pruners is still the overwhelming majority. About 80% of the Japan cherry trees are prunus. 
Why is there many of that kind? Because they have a lot of flowers and they're pretty. There's an influential theory that the Eudonianus was crossbred to have as many flowers as possible. Huh? Meaning it has so many flowers because they made it that way? They said they were bred by godmothers in a village so called called Akurai Mura during the Edo period. There's also a theory that they sprung up naturally, but nobody knows for sure. But there's one thing we do know. All of the Eudonuses in the world are clones of one single Eudonuses. Clones? Yes, because the Eudonuses doesn't produce seeds, it can only be produced through grafting and cutting. Well, so without humans, the tree would die out. In other words, all the trees that are copied made, made of the original tree. I misread that. All the trees that are, are copies made of the original tree. Their DNA are identical. People loved it for the flowers it produced. They've been copied many times spread all across Japan. I see. That's kind of amazing. Cherry tree. I mean, the you do and this have no secret like that. This one is a different species, right? Reaping cherry tree, you called it. Yes, as you can see, once it was are supple and they would droop. That's why it's called that. Oh, there's an, expl there's an explanation here. It says the reaping cherry tree blooms earlier in the year than the Yudoensis. Oh, and this tree was planted in the 1950s, so 60, 70 years old. Really? Bigger than I'd expect. The tree is grand. Oh, here's some pictures from when it's in bloom. Oh wow, it looks like a guy that of pink water. I ain't got an image at all. Here is the heritage in blue. Or an image. Have an image in a new tab? Oh. That helped. Trying to find a good image for it now. Oh. But that's what it looks like in, in bloom. Rather than that, the, the green version or that winter version. <laughs> 